here on the YouTube stage at PAX Prime 2015. We are about to take a look at not one, not two, but three excellent games all wrapped up into one pretty little package for y'all. Courtesy of the folks at Naughty Dog, one of those guys that join me right now. Eric, hello. Hey, Chris. Hi, yeah. man. Uh, Uncharted Collection. Yeah, man. You guys taking those Uncharted games as sort of the main PS3 classics, yep. slamming them all together. Making them look real nice. Yeah. Not that they didn't already look real nice. I mean, how much wiggle room do you guys really have? <laughs> it was pretty incredible. We actually partnered with Blue Point Games down in Austin. So they took the up res over and, uh, you know, they actually blew it out. There's, there's pretty incredible to see, like, you go back to Uncharted 1 and you're like, okay, this is 2007. That was a little, little, little shakier time. Yeah, we're then. eight years on from there now. Right. You're going to see a difference. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a, <laughs> almost like, you know, and a lot of the things they were able to do, too, with our, uh, you know, the PS4 now, they could take our cinematic models, and those cinematic models became the gameplay models for this, and they were able to tweak them even more. So, like, the character, the faces, and, like, how they look, it just, it's really crisp. It looks That's awesome. fantastic. And, of course, like, the facial expressions of characters in Uncharted, super key and such a, such a big part of expressing uh, the, the, the individuality of these awesome characters that pull these adventures together. Yeah, that story and sort of that emotive effect. We want you to, like, connect with the characters every time you're playing the game. So it brings that on and makes you, uh, you know, know what's up. So well, here's our boy Nathaniel. Yes. Uh, just cruising. <laughs> Going for a nice, pleasant Sunday drive. Story right, Story right through, out there. Uh, war torn uh, Tibet. Nepal. Guys with AKs. Yeah, it's Nepal. Nepal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it literally just said that on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this uh, we're in Uncharted 2, and uh, a little bit of the ways into the game, but things are about to go bad for our boy as yeah. they tend yeah. to go. Fancy. He's got a proclivity for getting in these situations. You know, it happens. All right, you got it. So what, like, you know, obviously, like. These are games that people know and love for, for many years across like many different adventures. Uh, what what's like cool up for you about having this project, about bringing these games like sort of up to speed and, and remastering them? It's amazing to just. I mean, this was the, this game, especially Uncharted 2, was the reason like I even wanted to apply to work at Naughty Dog. It was like one of those games I played and I played it and I was like. You know, I got up to, I think, level 61 or 62 in multiplayer. Wow. So I was just into it. I was crushing yeah. it. I, I beat it on crushing. It is honestly the only game I've ever platinumed. Oh, really? So it's one of those games that's, like, super dear to my heart. It is. I it think, I don't know, I can't claim to have platinumed it, but it's like you play that game, you play this game through, and there's just so many moments that just astound you and excite you and are just so fantastic, like, so best in class. Yeah. That it's, yeah, it's one of the all-time greats for sure yeah uh, you, you go moment to moment in this game too and this is so much stuff that drops your jaw and you're like how did they do that at that time especially when i was on the outside looking in as a fan i was like i don't know how any developer is keeping <laughs> up with them and how could you possibly what what magical organization could pull this thing together yeah yeah uh, it's a pretty good organization to go to work for i guess it, it, yeah yeah it ended up working out it's pretty awesome all right, so uh, you did mention multiplayer uh, in your own experience, but there's not multiplayer coming back into the collection, yeah, is that correct? Correct. Well, we have multiplayer in the form of uh, Uncharted 4 beta. Okay. Yeah, so what well, we thought, and, and it's really, it sounds weird, but 2009, you know, when uh, this game came out, people are still playing Uncharted 2 even, and then 2011 when Uncharted 3 came out, people are still playing multiplayer in that. So. We were looking at that in these communities. I still get uh, a couple videos every week from like Uncharted 3. They're like, oh, can you add this to Uncharted TV? Can we put this in the game? And I'm like, all right, we don't want to like fracture those communities and tell everybody now, like, go play on PS4. Uh -huh. So we were like, all right, what's the next best thing? We're going to give them the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta. The Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta, uh, that's like, that's next year sometime. Do you guys have a date on that? Yeah, we don't have a date quite yet, but we're going to be releasing some info about it really soon. All right, so it's it's the single player experience here, of course. That's like, one of, that's like the, one of the best things about this game. It's so, so good. But the yeah. single player experience, you know, in terms of the gameplay mechanics, it does evolve over the course of these three games. So, uh, and this I think was an, it was an interesting thing to sort of play, uh, you know, sort of, Play the recent Gears of War, uh, you know, enhanced edi or update <sighs> Ultimate Edition. Oh, seeing what lessons they took from way. later games and put applied to that game. So, like, where are you guys pinning down sort of the the movement, <laughs> the grenade throws, the aiming? 
from across those three games. Yeah, so we looked at what sort of, uh, you know, one of the biggest issues that came up was the aiming in Uncharted 3 when that came out, and we looked how that functioned still, and we were like, all right, when did we actually get aiming right? When was it like the sweet spot with it? And Bluepoint even did a little bit more research. You know, we've been playing this game for what, like eight years now, like uh, these different games. So we figured out what the best sort of aiming mechanics were, and we tried to uh, apply it across all three of these titles. So you, you sort of feel, get a different feel for the game, and um, it, it feel like something new, and it's running now at 1080p in this really high frame rate, so it, it plays quite differently. Now, do you, ever, do you ever have these moments where you go back and you look at it through, you know, 1080p, uh, <laughs> running, running real quick, on the frame rate, yeah. you ever have moments where it's like it looks too too good, or like it's, the frames are too fast? Because like that can, that's a thing, you know. Like you can, you can your, if your frame rate's not in balance with the experience, right. you know, the bigger number is not always the better number. Yeah, and that, I mean that's that's something we pride ourselves on. So we did a lot of you know tweaking with this to make sure it looked good. Um, one of the most remarkable things is. We have some sort of, um, you know, if you look at some of these buildings in the background, if you go back to the old PS3 game, it sort of looks like a brown square on top of, you know, like, because the draw distance, you couldn't draw things in the background. But now, like, Vic's coming up on here in the back, the smoke you see and everything, you know, you see uh, the details and the textures on everything. It's really remarkable. Um, you know, that's, that's one of the biggest things I noticed about this. And it's, yeah, Uncharted has always been a series where the environmental design is so good and so rich that multiple times per level, I'd find myself, you know, like, I'm in a dire situation, like, guys are trying to kill me. Like, it's a pretty high stakes, but I'm, like, just standing around, like, golfing at buildings, <laughs> like, oh my god, those plants are so green. So pretty. Oh, the, the painting on this mural that's, like, half faded in this ruin is so good. Yeah, I mean, like, even the little... Like, little the skull mass, here, yeah, right? You know, it's incredible. It, our environment and our artist teams are remarkable in how meticulous they are with all the details to everything, and, you know, even going back and looking at some of this, they're like, oh, wow, now at this resolution, that's how I wanted it to look. And, you know, like, it's, it's awesome to just sort of, like, see it almost become, like, the ultimate vision of what they had in mind. And that's cool, you know, from an artist's perspective, to get to see your sort of, your work brought to life in a slightly different way, or maybe realize it in a more truer vision of what you had originally imagined. Do you guys have any of those kind of, like, I don't know, like reactions or any kind of extra content in terms of like the development side or uncharted history in the collection? Yeah, so I mean, there, there's, uh, we're gonna be doing some, uh, we're gonna get the developers on camera and we're gonna do some live streams and have them play through this. We've had a few developers in our studio, um, you know, look at the collection and they're like, wow, I, you know, I forgot we even put this in the game. This was really fun at the time. Or that, oh man, we should have changed that. That looks bad. <laughs> like, it still looks bad, but we'll make it work. Um, so, you know, one of those things, it's just great to hear those reactions. And what we're going to do is we're going to have them get on camera, get on live stream, and just sort of walk through, like, the, uh, the times that they did, uh, they made, you know, the Nepal level, they made whatever level and that sort of thing. All right, so like follow Naughty Dog on Twitter or something if you yeah, want to keep an eye on that absolutely. stuff. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you, you mentioned sort of, you know, oh, we, we maybe shouldn't have done it that way. Did yeah. you guys do any tweaks about stuff that you maybe shouldn't we have did, done? We any did. little things to sort of yeah. just help yourselves out a little <laughs> bit, help the player out? Well, it's, it's crazy because when you get up to the higher resolution, especially with Uncharted 1, like, you know, back with lower, lower poly count and lower resolution, you can sort of fudge stuff with the lighting and sort of you hid stuff and you, you angled it away. But um, we actually went down to Blue Point and um, they did a playthrough of each of the games while we sort of sat there and we're like, all right, that floodlight or that spotlight, you can see it looks like flat right now. Like, we got to figure out how to tweak that lighting so it's more dynamic and it sort of fits into everything. Like so there was a ton of stuff that was done house. like that. And it's, it's pretty incredible to see, like, those changes being made as you play through the game now. Very cool. Kind of a surreal experience for you as a one Uncharted fan, now an Uncharted, well, still an Uncharted still fan, an Uncharted but fan, yeah. now a guy with, uh, you know, his hands on yeah. the, the Uncharted collection, which is coming out in just a month or two now. Yeah, October 9th, it'll hit stores, and it's going to be remarkable. I'm excited for people to get it in their hands, especially there's this whole new generation of players that have, may have never even, you know, owned the PS3 to play it. So now you can check it out on your PS4. 
get their hands on it, and then they're going to get their, uh, you know, dip their toes in the Uncharted 4 beta, which is going to be awesome. The multiplayer beta coming sometime next year. And uh, it's coming, so coming we're, sometime. We're coming sometime soon. We're going to give a date very soon about it. All right, so announcement coming soon on that, and then Uncharted 4 announcements coming soon on that one Absolutely, too. Absolutely, yeah. Like, like maybe now soon? <laughs> no. Okay, probably not right, now. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Now. Eric, thank you so much, man. Coming awesome. on Uncharted Thanks, Collection Chris. is looking excellent. Folks, for all the Uncharted Collection hotness, you're going to check out gaming.youtube.com slash GameSpot. And uh, we'll be sure to keep you guys updated, as always. We'll be back with Guitar Hero Live in just a few minutes.